Speaker placement can have a drastic impact on your frequency response, but where you place your speakers is going to depend on a lot of factors, such as the size and shape of your room, whether or not you're using a subwoofer, and your own personal preference. Just looking at a speaker, we might infer that all of the sound is projected out of the front face, but lower frequencies radiate in a sphere around the speaker, meaning that they can create reflections and pressure zones on any of the surfaces directly surrounding them. There are a few different strategies to mitigating these effects. Many high-end studios build their speakers into the walls to eliminate the extra reflections altogether. But this isn't always an option for those with budget or space constraints. One common solution is to bring your speakers out four feet or more from the front and side walls. This will ensure that the phase interference occurs in lower ranges that can be rerouted through your subwoofer instead of your front speaker. If we can place the speakers far enough out that the interference is mostly below the audible range, then we can treat behind the speakers with soffits or range-limited monsters to clean up the rest. No matter where you place your speakers, you'll want to avoid having the same distance between multiple surfaces. If the distances between the speaker, the sidewall, the front wall, and the floor are all the same, then the same peaks and noise will manifest from all sets of reflection. So feel free to take these guidelines and experiment with your speaker placement and treatment options until you get what works right for you. As always, you can visit us on our website where you can find tons of useful tools and articles as well as our free consultation form where you can get free acoustic advice tailored to your room. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.